सब्जी तड़का बीफ शशका मुर्ख चस्का इक्वल्स मोटापा <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. Today's video is going to be about noodles. Again, we're going to go to a different place to find Indomie noodles right here in Lahore, Pakistan. Okay. I think by now most of the grocery stores are carrying Indomie noodles and it's pretty much the same ones that we have found consistently throughout uh shops in Lahore. So this time we're going to go to Ahmed Cash and Carry. It's also right here in um Wabda town. So I'm going to show you some more details. Let's go. So here we are at Ahmed Cash and Carry. And that's Abu Bakr roundabout. So it's right across it. Let's go in. You have to go at the back of the shop. Yeah, but I need oats. Like they also have all the flavors. they have the vegetable one the chicken one and the beef one okay so here we have the ahmed cash and carry noodles they have the chicken they have the wet oops the vegetable flavor they have the beef flavor uh as you can see each of these are 40 rupees Okay so we're going to go and cook these. I'm going to show you the masalas, the seasoning packets for each of the flavors. For the chicken flavor you have blue seasoning powder, chili powder. For the beef you have uh, green and yellow. You have seasoning powder, chili powder. Then for the vegetable you also have the seasoning powder. I don't know if that's black. The seasoning powder, chili powder. Okay, let me open all of these and I will show you, okay? Okay, so here are the seasoning powder and chili powders. For the chicken it's very white, the seasoning powder, not a lot of coarse salt, and then the chili powder itself is kind of dark. Now, for the beef. It is also very white, but there's a lot of coarse salt going through it. You can see it right here. And then the chili powder itself is a bit light. and then white right here for the vegetable very yellow seasoning powder and the chili powder is also kind of more on the reddish side and this smells like a lemon like chatpata smell and then the others it's okay ah to what are you doing here so here are the seasoning powder and chili powders of the noodles let's go cook those follow me So I'm going to cook it in this. I'm I don't I'm not even going to bother with the water. You can cook it as per the instructions at the back of the packet. Oops. At the back of the packet. But I don't cook it that way. So there we go. Just going to cook the noodles and then I'm going to drain any excess water. Let's dump the noodles in. There's a second one. Okay, so we're going to let these cook. Okay, so for the oil, I'm going to be using olive oil. I know I've been using in the previous videos ghee or I've been using butter. If you want a healthy alternative, you can use olive oil. You need some kind of oil. Just I'm just saying that. Okay, you just need some kind of oil to mix the seasoning powder and chili powder, okay? So I'm going to add the extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. Just need some kind of oil in it. I don't put olive oil because it tastes of olive oil. Then, <laughs> if that makes sense, olive oil has a very strong taste. Just mix it nicely. Okay, so here it is cooking away. I'm gonna use a pasta spoon. See how beautifully that separates takes out the noodles so easily and all the water gets drained. So yeah, I'm going to be using this. Okay, we are ready for our meal. I have the noodle water right here just in case we need it. Piping hot. And then I have the drained noodles right there. Let's put in a spoon each. Okay. 
this gets maximum flavor. If you want to cook it the way they're saying, you can do that. Ah, oh, the vegetable smells so good. So let's put in the noodles. I love this spoon. See how easily it's catching the noodles? And that's equal. Yay! Oh, big toe! Okay, let me mix these, then we taste them. And it's ready! Does it look tasty? Mmm. So we're gonna start from our right side. We're gonna start with the vegetable. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mmm! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, uh, for the beef. The smell is really weird, but the taste, it's good. Okay, let's try. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mmm. Mm. Oof. I turn namak zada lag rahe isme. And maybe a bit more of pasta water. Because the salt is too much in this. The beef tastes really good if it's soupy. Let me just give it another try. It's good. Yeah, now it's good. Now for the chicken. As you can see, the chicken packet right there. Okay. I didn't break the noodles. That's why the noodles are very long. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mm-mm. Okay. So I have taste tested them. How would I rank these noodles? Well, noodles should not be ranked. They're all unique and precious in their own way. But if I had to rank according to taste, this would be first, second, and third. I don't know, um, beef, it really tastes good if it's soupy. So everyone, that was my video on Indomie Noodle Adventures right here in Lahore, okay. So, I'm going to end the video right here. Inshallah, I'm going to see you somewhere else finding indomie noodles or other snacks and foods and slime somewhere else in Lahore. Yes, you'll always be there with me. So, see you then. So, one, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Hey, you stuck around. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out this playlist right here.